Okay, so today we're going to talk about rappelling with only using uh, carabiners, if that's all you have. And there's uh, quite a few methods to do this, which are completely safe if you do them correctly. And will give you enough friction so you can actually get down. So the first we're going to talk about is uh, ages old, used forever. If you only have one carabiner, uh, it's called the uh, Munter Hitch Rappel. So basically you take the rope, open the carabiner, put it in, take a loop of the rope above the carabiner, put that loop into the carabiner like such. And once you apply any kind of pressure on it, this is what the Munter Hitch should look like. This will work uh, regardless of the size of the rope, because basically the rope is creating friction not only on the carabiner, but on itself as it goes through. It's a close-up of what it kind of looks like. Again, this is called a munter hitch. Works quite well. The only problem with this is that it probably puts the most amount of twist in the rope. So if you have a free-hanging rope, it's not much of a problem. The twist will just come out on its own. Uh, if you don't have a freestanding rope where it's actually hitting the ground, then you're probably going to have a lot of twist by the time you get down. But again, Munter Hitch actually works. The second way of rappelling, if you only have one carabiner, uh, is called the carabiner wrap. So you take the carabiner, put the rope in, bring the rope around the spine of the carabiner, put it in again. And if you're only using single ropes, I would do that one more time so that the repel setup should look like this. And basically that's why it's called the carabiner wrap repel. Basically the rope is wrapped around the spine of the carabiner. And so as you go down, uh, two wraps should be plenty if you're using single rope. Um, if you're using double rope, I would use only one wrap. That should be quite enough. So if it's double rope, put the rope in once. Do the carabiner, wrap it around the spine one time, and it should look something like this. Again, carabiner wrap. The military still uses this extensively, uh, at least the Army and the Marine Corps does. Uh, it is ideal because, one, you only have one tool to carry, which is one carabiner. Uh, doesn't really call for much else. Um, it's just way less of a problem. Uh, to carry multiple pieces of equipment. And again, this is the job. Again, not the greatest in the world as far as uh, putting twist on the rope, but it will work. The next method I'd like to talk about, if you have two carabiners, and I'm using basically a single strand of rope just to make it a little easier to understand and set up. This one is called the uh, French Rappel. Uh, also known as the cross carabiner repel. I believe it's called the French repel because somebody from France invented it years ago. So basically take your one carabiner. If it's locking, go ahead and lock it. You put a bite of the rope through the carabiner. You take the other carabiner, gate facing down as such, put it through the loop, bring it up around, and put the top part of the rope through the carabiner. You can lock it up if you'd like for safety purposes. And this is what the rappel setup should look like. Again, cross carabiner. Original name for this was the um, French rappel. I'm assuming some Frenchman uh, invented this. So that's the third way of going down with just carabiners. If you happen to have more carabiners and you don't have, happen to have a specific rappel device, uh, there's the old tried and true. Uh, it's known as the carabiner brake bar repel. Basically, using carabiners to act like a rack system. So, we would go ahead and pretend that this snap link is attached to your harness. You would take two carabiners. Doesn't make a difference if they're locking or unlocking. If they're unlocking or locking, it doesn't matter. You uh, set up the gates where uh, this is called uh, opposite and opposed. So, basically, one opens from the bottom, one opens from the top, and then you put them on opposite sides where one gate is touching the other carabiner's spine and so forth. 
so that there is no way you can go through both of them without hitting a spine. So you got that set up. You would put, again, a bite of rope through the two. You take another two additional carabiners and attach to that loop as such. You bring those carabiners around so that they go through the other two carabiners. Actually, no, before you even do that, the top rope would go through the, those two carabiners as such. Hope everybody can see that. Then you organize it such that, so that the rope is only touching the spine of the two carabiners. You bring it down along the rope. Again, the rope is only touching the spine. It is not touching the gates in any way, shape, or form. So all the pressure applied would only be on the spine. Now, typically you can get away with just doing this if these two carabiners here are attached to your harness. But for some people, they get worried about the rope being too close to the harness loop and burning the harness loop. So I would suggest if you're one of those people, you would take a, another carabiner attached to your harness and apply it that way. This is what the setup should look like. This part down here being your harness. And this should give you plenty of friction, especially if you're using ropes, I would say uh 9.6 in size and above 9.6 millimeter 10 millimeter 10 and a half 11 millimeter and above this is you know enough friction if you're using thinner ropes like this one uh you're probably better off going down with double rope as opposed to single um this will work but you may have to use part of your body as for additional friction meaning that you take the end of the rope and instead of just squeezing it you'd wrap it around your hip and part of your back to use your clothing uh, as an you know additional friction just in case it's not enough of a setup but those are the four ways that uh, you can definitely safely get down if you do this correctly using only carabiners hope you enjoyed the video and have a great day